Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm going to just do a quick video this week because uh, it's winter break and uh, I'm behind on my packing. I'm taking off. I'm headed to Vermont, going to do some snowboarding. So next week, if you see me with like a new cast or something or broken this or strain that, you'll know what happened. Anyway, this is a quick one and uh, let's get into it. Oh, you son of a niche. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, what I want to talk about this week is, um, you know, uh, SREF or style reference tool came out in mid-journey um, and fantastic. It gives us a tremendous amount of control and we can really extract styles um, from uh, images. And what I've kind of found and I've kind of seen, you know, in comments and in, you know, over on Discord and everything is this, and this word, uh, this, this phrase is very synonymous with AI art generation. And uh, it's an existential crisis. And it, it, the irony isn't lost on me. Um, I kind of see... <laughs> AI artists are having an existential crisis because suddenly with um, style reference, the skill they built as prompting to extract styles uh, isn't as useful as it used to be. Um, and what I'm kind of hearing is it's a little too easy. It's too easy to get the images we want. You know, we used to have to put work in. <laughs> Believe me, the irony isn't lost on me um, what uh, traditional artists uh, were going through uh, just about a year ago. Um, by the way, the examples you're seeing right now, um, the, that first SREF image was uh, a sketch I had done um, from a notebook. I, I did a line decker uh, study. So uh, I did a study on his works and, and I used that as an SREF image and just ran it through my regular simple prompts um so we have something to look at as we go and then when we move on here we'll see it mixed with another image i love this though um anyway i i think i just gotta tell you know all the ai artists that are having trouble with this right now just relax calm down where we are right now is our our ai art generation is creating complete images. That's what we go to mid-journey and, you know, we're basically working in complete images and it's, it's, this is the idea and stamp it into this. Our skill set is going, it, it's not going anywhere, but I think we're going to see an evolution where we're not going to completely work on the complete image all at once. Uh, we're going to get down to a point where we can prompt and give reference and and things like that um, to parts of our image and and AI will will understand that um, and as you see here like this next set, group of images I'm putting up you know I start I start mixing my own images uh, that I've rendered through mid journey in with my hand-drawn um, traditional uh, stuff and see what that creates. Um, and now it's more of a blending tool. Uh, the the uh, Where we're kind of in sticky water for me right now is that we are, nobody, I don't care what artist you are, has a super diverse um, reference of, of all different types of, of imagery and styles and, and eras and, and things like this in their catalog. So what that does is it does mean that you have to go out and, you know, go to Google, Google stuff, find artists and kind of pull the, pull their work back in. And that's kind of a icky situation, you know, because they've developed their style and, you know, you, you do feel like you're just, you know, you're right on the floor. You're the one pulling it in to, to duplicate it and create your imagery and, you know, even if you're blending it and whatnot, if if you don't have their approval, there is a, you know, we can have empathy for that. Um, I I think you know the reason there. Uh, but anyway, I I think everyone's gonna calm down. I think this style referencing is great. It's a great tool. 
Um, obviously, you can keep blending and diluting the imagery. Um, but I, I think we stay on top of this. And as we get tools that are more regional in our image, and I don't mean regional like northeast, south, all that. I mean, regional in, in the pixels and, you know, oh, I want to, this guy, I want to, uh, <laughs> this octopus dude, I want to adjust his eyes a little bit. I want to do this. I want to give a more of a feeling of this to it. Um, all of our prompting skills and, and whatnot are going to uh, come into play. Um, but that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. I just wanted to um, have a quick video and touch base and say that, hey, you know, the world isn't ending here. We're just, everybody calm down. Huh, calm down. All right. I will talk to you guys uh, soon, but enjoy these images. There's a tree right here. Um, did I not get through these yet? Should I sit and yak for until we get through the whole set? Because I kind of enjoy it. I really love putting my own sketching into mid journey and using that as kind of my paintbrush um, and getting just this wild stuff. And it it's weird because it's like, wow, that's like, yeah, I put the work in to get my drawing vocabulary there. And uh, now mid journey is just taking it to the next level, but it's still kind of like my stuff. Anyway. All right. That's what I need to say. Thank you very much for tuning in this week. Uh, I know it's a short video, real quick. Just wanted to kind of, uh, you know, clear the air and get everyone to calm down a little bit. Uh, anyway, all right. Uh, do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel, get over to Discord, uh, comment below. Hey, this is a great conversational piece. How's, how's uh, SREF affected your work? As uh, style referencing, you know, just made things incredible? Or are you feeling just like, wow, why am I doing this? Um, let me know in the comments and buy some merch. I got some really cool stuff down there. You can get the real slap on the back, though. Um, you know, and all right. Till next week.